if you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, but I want to say this, it is up to you. It is up to you. And I know a lot of you know this. I know this is a common sense thing. Like I said, I'm a common sense expert and I'm here to remind you of the common sense. It is up to you to create the change in your life that you want to change. Okay. And this is something I told myself this morning and I want to share this with you and with all love, because I love you. This might be a little bit of tough love, but I love you. There are a million excuses that you can use. All right, a million excuses that you can use to keep yourself in, the, in your situation. And rightfully so, right? You can use those excuses. I'm going to say excuses because I want to change your mindset towards it. But there are a million excuses you can use to keep yourself in, this, in your situation. But I want to tell you this, and I want you to hear me, hear me clear. Excuse my French. The world doesn't give a damn about your excuses. Okay? Call the bill collector and ask about your, and, and tell them about your excuses. See if they cancel your bills. Tell the, 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 the mortgage company about your excuses. See if they cancel your mortgage, all right? Or put your mortgage on hold. Tell people around you about your excuses. See if they stop living life. The point I'm trying to make is life goes on with or without you. I want you to understand that and get that. So it is up to you to create a disruption in your life. Some of us, including myself at times, we have been living in the same freaking patterns over and over again. We've been going back to, to the same things that we need to move on from over and over again. We've been living this revolving door, leaving just to come back to the same reasons we left for, starting something, not to finish it, just to start it again, walking away from something just to come back to it. At some point, you have to disrupt the pattern, okay? You have to positively disrupt the pattern that you're currently in. It might be with your relationship, right? Maybe the pattern that y'all in is making the relationship boring or whatever it may be. You gotta disrupt it. Maybe it's the relationship with your kids. Maybe it's with your business. Maybe it's with your life. Maybe it's with your health. But at some point, you have to be a disruptor because if you're not a disruptor, you're gonna keep the same cycle that has got you to where, where you at today. You're gonna keep the same cycle of toxic in your life. You're gonna keep the same cycle of unhealthy in your life. You're gonna keep the same cycle of limitations in your life. You're going to keep the same cycle of self-sabotage in your life. I told myself last night, I said, I'm going to be a disruptor in my life today. So I did something that I haven't done in a long time. And I want you to think about this. Okay. And I'm going to leave after this because I don't want to make this, this, this long. Cause I really want you to think about it, make a change. Don't just listen to me, actually make a change with your life. This ain't no motivational stuff to just make you feel good because making you feel good ain't really creating change in your life. You got to do something with your life. But this is what I realized. I went back and I thought about my past, okay? Your past can be a powerful thing sometimes, especially when you're reflecting and asking yourself, man, in the past, when was I living my best life? And I want you to think about that because we all at some point, I don't care if you gotta go back to your teenager, there was a time when you were living your best life. There was a time when you believed in yourself. There was a time when you were happy about life. There was a time when you, know, um, you were getting the most out of life holistically. And so I had to go back. I said, man, when was I living my best life? Because I have every excuse right now in the world. My Achilles is torn. I can't do certain things and all these things are going on in my life. I get that, right? But I said, I'm creating a pattern of self-sabotage. I'm creating a pattern of feeling sorry for myself. So the question I want to ask you is, when was that time in your life when you were living your best life? And ask yourself a simple question. What was I doing in that time? What was I doing in that time? How was I operating? From a physical standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, from a mental standpoint, how was I operating? What was I doing? And I want you to disrupt the pattern that you're in. If you don't like it, I want you to disrupt the cycle that you're in because if you don't disrupt it, you're gonna keep complaining about the same things that you ain't changing. You're gonna live your whole life being a complainer instead of a changer. Okay, and I know a lot of you don't want to hear this because it hurts your soul a little bit because we got to take some self-responsibility and accountability, but I'm going to just keep it a thousand with you. You know, a lot of us, we stay stuck in the same freaking pattern, man, and then we want the world to feel sorry for us. Nobody's feeling sorry for you. And it's something that I had to realize. Nobody's feeling, I have a torn Achilles. Nobody's feeling sorry for me, right? Life is still going on. And so I have a choice. I can start a pattern continue a pattern that's not good for my life, that's toxic for my life, or I can say, you know what, I'm going to be a disruptor today. I'm going to ask God every single morning to renew my mind because some of us, we're expecting a new life with the same mindset. We're expecting a new life, a new change with the same old habits that got us in this place right now, right? We have to start a new positive routine that actually leads us to a place where we want to go. It's like this, and I'll leave after here for real. I want to give y'all a simple analogy, a common sense analogy. 
if you had a destination, think about this, and we all do this, and you put in those directions, right, in Siri, in Apple, whatever, Google Maps, and as you were driving to that destination, maybe you weren't paying attention, right? And maybe you missed your turn. What happens? Somebody tell me in the comments what happens. If you missed your turn and you're going towards a destination and you missed your turn for whatever reason, somebody in the comments tell me what's happened. How do you figure it out? I see a question. How do you figure out? Control what you can control. Start something you can control right now. We can't figure out the, the whole thing. That's the problem. We, we stay stuck because we're trying to figure it out. Like, I can't figure out my whole path. No. What can you control right now? If you can control walking around the block just to get some, get some therapy in, do that. But a lot of times we think change is this magical, huge thing that happens. And it's not. It's the small things that we do every single day. That we do every single day. So don't try to figure it out. Just say, okay, what's in my control right now that I could change? Maybe, okay, I need to get off of social media early in the morning. Okay, maybe I need to walk around the block to give myself some therapy. Maybe I need to stop doing this and start doing that. So somebody in the comments just said you have to turn around. Exactly. Exactly. Your navigation is going to let you know that, hey, I am in the wrong place right now. You are going the wrong direction. Now, common sense says if you ignore it, which you probably aren't, you're going to end up in a destination. Or you'll end up lost. What a lot of us have done emotionally in our life, we have done exactly that. Right. We have got off our path like we all do. But we haven't decided to turn around and get back on path. So today, let me be your navigation and tell you that it's time for you to make a sharp U-turn. It is time for you to get back on path. Get back on track. Get back on track and get back on path and get back on track towards that desk even if you don't know where that destination is you know doing the right things making the right choice you know what makes you feel good in your life you know what choices you need to make and what choices you don't need to make do a u-turn create a massive disruption in your route do a u-turn and say okay let me get back on the right track so it might be okay today i'm gonna just drink water all day I'm going to break it down to the most simplistic things. I'm going to just drink water all day. Okay, today, you know what? I'm not going to eat fast food. I'm going to just put healthy things in my body. Today, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to work out today. Today, you know what? I'm going to do some stretching today. Today, I'm going to get in my word today. Today, I'm going to listen to a podcast instead of listening to music. I'm going to read a book today. You know, the little things that help you. Today, I'm going to sit on a rock and just sit out here and give thanks and think about my life. Right? It's the little things, y'all. Y'all think change is some big major thing. You see people and like, oh my gosh, they must be doing something crazy. Man, it's the little things that you got to stay loyal to. The little things that add up to the big things that become major in your life because it works both ways. We get to a place in our life that's not good for us by doing little things that aren't good for us. We see in the health all the time. I've, I've been guilty of this where you, you, you're eating, oh, okay, I'm just going to eat this today and it becomes tomorrow and it becomes a week and then you get to a place like, dang, like I've been, I didn't gain 20 pounds. Because that little decision to say, I'm going to eat this today, that turned into the next day, turned into a habit, that turned into a pattern, and now look where you're at. You can do the opposite. All right? You can do the opposite. So I wanted to share that with y'all, man. I don't know who it was for. Make sure you text that number to join my text community if you already, ha if you already have it. But today's message is be a violent disruptor in a positive way in your life. If something is not going the way you want it to go, you have to disrupt it. So what did I do this morning? I'll share this and I'm off. I say, you know what? In 2019, I was probably my best, I felt like. Just, I was able, I was in nature every day. I was running, like my health was right. I was my best. And I just, I evaluated, I said, man, what did I do during that time? I say, cool. I was doing yoga. I was doing this, blah, 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 all these things. I'm not going to get into it. I was doing all these things. I said, okay, well. Tomorrow morning, I'm not a morning person. Like, I'm a sunrise morning person, but I'm not like a 4 a.m. morning person. I'm, I don't wake up singing songs like, you know, making my way downtown. And I, <laughs> I don't wake up just singing. I'm like, if I hear the rain, I'm like, turn it off. Right? I'm not a morning person like that. I love sunrises. I'm like a semi-morning person. But I said, tomorrow, I'm going to get back my gym membership. Even though I got a gym in my house, 
I believe energies hold environment. I mean, ener environments hold energy. Like I love my my home gym. It's convenient, but also it's convenient to skip out because I'm always telling myself, okay, I'll do it next hour, next hour. So I said, okay, let me get back my gym membership. Let me do that because I had my gym membership when I was my best. I felt like that. Okay, cool. I got it. So I said, I'm gonna do yoga in the morning, hot yoga. And I looked at the schedule. Hot yoga was at 5:15. So a big part of me was like, well, shh, I'm at 5:15. I can. Negotiating with myself. Negotiating with myself. And some of us, we doing that. We negotiating with ourselves too much. We negotiating with our greatness too much. We negotiating with our change too much. You're negotiating. And you're trying to negotiate with yourself on something that you don't need to negotiate on. You don't need to negotiate on your progression. You don't need to negotiate on your change. You don't need to negotiate on your greatness. You don't need to negotiate on your healing. And I was doing that last night, to be real with you. I was like, man, that's too early. Like, I ain't getting up at that time. Man. Maybe I'll do it Wednesday. I'll do it Thursday. So I'm going to be a thousand with y'all. I turned off my alarm that I set, and I went to sleep. This is how life works, man, and God works. Life woke me up. God woke me up at 3.45 a.m. And usually I wake up at 3.45 a.m., I got to pee. Like, I'm like halfway sleep peeing in the back you know what i mean like i gotta pee i had to pee might be tmi but i was wide freaking awake wide awake i couldn't even went back to sleep if i wanted to so what did i do i said okay this is a sign i went to the gym at four o'clock i took care of what i need to take care of i had my day started i was able to bring some coffee for the family and things like that. I was able just to, 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 to do all the things that I know would help me live a more positive day, right? I'm, I'm in my walk right now and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm already in my second half of the day when a lot of people are in their first half of the day. It's not to make you feel bad because some of y'all can be night owls and work better at night. Like that's a whole other live I can talk about. But I decided not to negotiate anymore. Right? There's no negotiation on the things that better my life. I'm not negotiating with myself no more. I'm not negotiating with people, and I for damn sure ain't negotiating with myself. And when you get to a place where there's no negotiation and you stay loyal to the things that better your life, you stay loyal to your choices that progress in your life, you stay loyal to becoming the greatest you, and you don't and you stick to that, you have no choice but to change, y'all. You have no choice but to change. So here's a simple thing as I leave y'all today. Okay? Spiritually. Non-negotiation. Start your day off. You could be like me. We're taking in the sunrise. Start your day off with thanking God. Start your day off with listening to your soul. Start your day off with appreciation and gratitude. Non-negotiable. Second thing, move your damn body. Okay, I don't care what you do. It could be a stretching. It could be a walk. It could be a run. It could be whatever. Move your body. Because when we move our body, we create energy, right? Energy is created non-negotiable third thing that i'll tell you to do okay is feed your mind the right things non-negotiable somebody asks how do i create change here's your formula feed your mind the right things that could be reading a book that could be coming on alive listening to somebody who know can pour into your life that can be listening to an audio book a podcast right that could be reading your word feed your mind okay and let's just talk, let's just stick with those three. If you do those three every single day, change, growth, progression has to surrender to you. It has to surrender to you. It has to surrender to you. But a lot of us, even myself at times, I'm not excluded, we don't want to do those things and we expect all the benefits of actually doing those things to happen and we look at our life and we say man my life is is the same as i like to call stagnation god disrupted man you'll never progress staying stuck all right i love y'all i appreciate y'all hopefully this touched somebody and uh yeah go win your day let's get it